builds laparoscopic tubal reconstruction in bilateral bioswell things i also had no idea we would encounter such thing inside you can see the beaded tube on the left normal isthmus of the fallopian tube and there are some sutures near the fimbrial end let's see and similarly on the right side the beaded tube laterally near the fimbria something near the fimbria and the tubectomy part is very normal this is how and where the tubectomy should have been done anyhow we were inside the patient hsg showed bilateral tubal blockage vasopressin injection in the mesosalpings deep astro is at 20 units in 100 ml of normal saline and the dissection begins look at the amount of adhesions that i am encountering let's see what we get and again we can see some suture over there near the fimbrial end i don't know who did this surgery and why they choose to ligate the tubes near the fimbrial end though the chances of success in this case is almost nil let's see what we find as we are already in we have to complete this surgery and hoping something better there you can see it appears to be a silk suture later it was confirmed that it was silk i'm trying to remove the silk suture i'm using unit lateral 5 mm ports and five regular 5 mm instruments looks a bit of butchery over there but what what else could have been done if you had any better idea please do comment so that's the opening of the fallopian tube laterally i suppose going into the fimbria i have never seen the opening of the fimbria because such things never happen in a tubectomy case there i am trying to dissect the beaded tube you must have also seen beaded tubes in some some patients causing tubal blockade let's see what we get inside these beaded tubes and why does these beadings happen dividing at the healthier part and see lots of pus coming out maybe it's antibioma now i know exactly why the bleeding happens this is because of contained pyosalpings or you can say antibioma inside the cells fallopian tube it appears nice the opening the mucosa lining looks nice earlier we used to put a and proline suture through this through the uterus into the fallopian tubes to mark the structures and do a chroma perturbation after dividing it in such cases the role of chroma perturbation or putting in a um, number one proline is not a good practice as they tend to injure and uh, also initiate a process of granuloma formation so the success rates may come down and we gain nothing much after those promo perturbations after dividing the fallopian tubes nothing more than a satisfaction that the tubes are open the tubes are actually open as shown in the ssg hsg of the patient done earlier the 6 o'clock suture using 4o vicral with regular needle holders and a grasper the meso salpings is tightened so as to approximate the two ends of the fallopian tubes actually we are just lateral to the uh, medial to the ampulla and abutting the fimbrial ends i don't know how successful it will be but still we'll approximate both these parts and finally the anastomosis is in hand of the body tissues only or you can say in hand of god only we we'll just approximate it and as far as the human body is concerned it is actually very good at uh, rejoining itself If using the 40 proline three or four sutures will be enough we can't guarantee a success even 
ट्वेंटी परसेंट ऑफ सक्सेस रेट विल बी वेरी गुड इन सच केसेस विल नॉट बी यूजिंग एनी एंटीबायोटिक फ्लश ओवर इट एज द फायर सेल्फिंग्स ओवर देयर लुक्स लाइक एंड श्योरली विल बी अ स्टेराइल एप्सेस एज पेशेंट वॉज ए सिम्टोमेटिक फॉर इट एंड वी डेंट सी एनी इन्फ्लोमेटरी रिस्पॉन्स ऑल्सो अराउंड अदर देन दी बीडिंग दैट मस्ट है पस कॉज इन्फ्लोमेशन एट दिस रीजन सो द अप्रॉक्सीमेशन इज सीरो मस्कुलर एंड टू सीरो मस्कुलर एंड एट टू टू थ्री पॉइंट एंड समटाइम्स फोर पॉइंट कैन ऑल्सो बी डन द ओनली प्रॉब्लम हेयर इज द लेटरल सूचर ओवर द फिमरल एंड दैट इज वेरी वेग एंड सूचिंग इट इज एक्चुअली वेरी डिफिकल्ट इन सच केसेज दो इट्स नॉट सच केसेज एज दिस इज द फर्स्ट टाइम आई हैव एनकाउंटर्ड सच अ टूबेक्टमी still we'll the continue the procedure and hope for the best let's see after 3 months we get a, a good report on H- hsg do the chances of ectopic will be much higher in such a patient pre op counseling was done but post op counseling showing this video will again be very important and once we are inside the patient completing the procedure is good serial muscular sutures are going in there you can see the end the lateral end looking very vague bit of uh, close aerial tissue and the serial muscular part of the intact fallopian tube and there we have made both ends meet normal healing capacity of the body should create a good anastomosis between the mucosal lining of the fallopian tube this is regular suturing with 40 proline round body to oh, sorry 40 vicryl i prefer to use vicryl because vicryl is an absorbable suture some people use 4050 or even 60 proline that is not required the only idea is approximating the serial muscular layers only as we are not suturing the mucosal lining of the tube it looks enough but still i'll put one more suture at 9 o'clock complete the anastomosis and again i am saying that this anastomosis is not like a anast- vascular anastomosis we are just making the serial muscular ends meet at both sides the actual tube that has to get anastomos the body will anastomos the mucosal linings by itself we can't put a suture inside and anastomos it as we do in pancreatic ducts or in vascular sutures so after this three sutures in the serial muscular layer and one in the mesosalpings then anastomosis is complete and we'll hope for the best that the body heals and recanalizes it we'll not be testing it with dye again as i believe and it is true also that every foreign body will create some granuloma reactions and in such uh, traumatized tissues granuloma formation will hinder the anastomotic procedure though it will join the tubes but the uh, mucosal openings will not anastomize nicely now coming to the left side again vasopressin 5 to 10 ml of vasopressin it is 20 units in 100 ml vasopressin as we use in uh, laparoscopic myomectomy in that we use 20 ml in 200 ml of normal saline again you can see the sutures are so lateral just next to the fimbria and the beaded fallopian tubes and now i am expecting some pus again in this beads and actually it was very interesting to see pus inside the bead we had heard of it seen it radiologically or after taking out the specimen in salpingectomy and these are the silk sutures number one silk sutures next to the femoral end 
and obviously the little part of the tube is divided as I cut these sutures out and that's actually a real permanent sterilization chances are of reversal are zero look how vasopressin creases creates on almost a avascular field some of the blood is okay do not use any amount of uh, energy source over here not even uh, this ultrasonic scissors if possible cold scissors are very good some of the bleeding stops by itself do not go chasing the rbcs and there again you can see normal fallopian tube medially and the ampullary part has lots of lots of beads let's see what we get inside the beading continues I am dividing the mesosalping and now I will go for the fresh fresh looking end and divide it there and see look we have again lots of pus coming from that side so the chances of success of the surgery can obviously you can guess it how much it can be we will see after 3 months but we will do our job, we will anastomose it and I will be removing this later on we have a uterine manipulator in the uh, vagina that is pulling up the uterus though the bladder adhesion is also helping us there you can see the cut end fresh cut end it looks quite ok, no pus coming from the uh, uterus side again one suture in the mesosalpings to approximate these two ends manipulating a 4-0 needle with regular needle holders is a bit difficult though if you keep on trying it's not that difficult also just you need to have a bit of dexterity in your hands a wristy person just like Mohammad Azuruddin in cricket he was a rusty player and that's the part of suture from the right side tube that i'm using i'll give a single knot with it and then introduce another one oops i have looped the isthmus i'll not tighten it and remove it i'm doing my tubectomy again I have to loosen it a bit and there the job is done the suture is tight in the mesosalpings look at the way I am handling the suture with the needle when you have very short thread sometime when the suture is ending you have to manipulate the needle with the needle holder to make a knot and making a knot with the needle is easier than making a knot with the thread itself so the mesosalpin is approximated and I was thinking why I am doing this anastomosis but I have to do this anastomosis because I am inside the patient and can't leave it because just because of the pus sometimes anastomosis do happen so nicely even this pus will not hinder so you have to do your job and leave the rest to God here I will be taking only two sutures in the seromuscular layer that's enough even if the anastomosis is to heal by itself only approximating the mesosalpings is also enough it is said so three to four knots on each side I am uh, showing the surgery in 2x as the surgery will look very boring if you uh, watch this surgery as I was also not happy doing this surgery neat ends are not there but sometimes you enjoy cleaning the mess it's like doing a Swachh Bharat Abhiyan and then 
at 6 o'clock the miso scalping suture that was near the zero muscular end and two sutures on the other two ends that's enough that that's all that is required and in the post op i'll give some anti inflammatory and a bit of steroids also and obviously antibiotics and we'll see the result after 3 months or so let's hope everything goes well i'll surely put in the results of hst done after 3 months and please do comment about this surgery any comment you like you can criticize me you can say that this should not have been done the technique the suture the needle holders anything so the surgery is complete bit of washing will be done so the vascularity on the distal end look looks good and we'll hope that this anastomosis happens and she should be able to get a baby otherwise she'll have to go for ivf of course the reason for this recanalization was that she had lost her second baby and she is at around 29 years of age so let's hope luck for this lady you can see the adhesions of the bladder over the uterus that's the pro- problem later on in the next is and if at all ha- we'll have to do we'll we already know the bladder is stuck there and a bit of wash and the surgery is over the ovaries are nice and i'll take out the pieces of the tube with a 10 ml uh, i'll introduce a 5 ml telescope and take it out from the camera port so thank you for watching thank you for watching the entire surgery very coolly and do not forget to subscribe my channel i'll be showing you such type of surgeries time and again and i do a bit of teaching also so do join me and follow me for learning this art of laparoscopic surgery thank you very much